believe that when you train, you should have create, you should be able to be creative. You shouldn't be boxed in. This is the area where you can be creative and just kind of own your own workout. There were several reasons why we started the gym. Um, one of the reasons were that we had family members that were getting sick due to health reasons, not taking care of themselves, not eating right. It just kind of touched home. Both sides of our family were going through the same situations. And then there was a, a, another reason was is that we felt like we should give back to the community and not only try to help ourselves and our family members, but to help those that are in our community. And we're watching them. We see friends that are our age that have now have health issues and we were concerned. We were looking at different options and different things and we brainstormed about so many different things. And Toby loves the gym. We were at the gym one night and we were talking and I said, what if we started a gym? What if, you know, we're, we do like walks with different organizations, we do donations, what if we started a gym? And he was like, how would we do that? We're, we're working, how do we do that? And we just went back and forth and 2016 we committed to it and we said, we're gonna start a gym and how are we gonna set this up? How, what are we looking at? And at the time, Toby started powerlifting and he was getting ready for a competition and we said, we should have an area where you have your three main lifts. And that was all Toby's idea of having just a separate area where people could do those lifts, have the privacy and the other members not feel like, oh, I don't want to be a part of that. Um, it's a little intimidating. What we have here today, is this what we envision? And the one thing that we're excited about is it actually is. It actually is what we, what we intended on doing. I think um, the biggest thing probably is just knowing that, and we knew this going in, that you have to market and you have to get people to know, you know that you're out there, but there's a lot of people to market to. And when you think about uh, just marketing in general, when you think about any products that you may use, how many times do you have to hear it before you make that decision and say, you know what, I'm gonna try it. And so I think that's probably the, the biggest learning experience. Um, we understand that the marketing part is important, but just the evolution and just the process of going through it and constantly dripping that information on individuals to let them know that, hey, we're here, this is what we do, and this is how we're different from other, other gyms in the area. When you come in and you walk into the gym, immediately over to the left, um, you see a heavy bag and a speed bag, and I think it kind of signifies kind of what we are. Um, that's a little bit kind of off the beaten path of, of traditional training, but mainstream enough to where everybody's going to recognize it, and I think it, it gives people an impression when you first come in. But if you're looking straight ahead, uh, again, fundamental equipment, you'll see those power racks, those two power racks over there. And just slightly over to the left, you'll see something that a lot of our uh, gym goers don't know what it is. It's a reverse hyper, um, which is a very good hamstring uh, type of piece of equipment. As you keep, continue to go straight and you move towards the right, you'll see cable crossovers, which um, I think it kind of symbolizes versatility. From the person who's starting from day one to the most advanced lifter, everybody uses a cable crossover, so we have a couple of those. And then as you continue to go straight, you'll start seeing um, a lot of the diversification of the gym, kind of the, the, the meat of the gym. And you'll see benches, um, you'll see platforms over to the left, um, and then you'll see some machinery too as well, um, like low row machine, chest supported rows, leg press, and then straight ahead you'll see our dumbbells. And we wanted to make sure that we had a wide range, so we did our dumbbells from 5 pounds to 150 pounds. And then, of course, the field turf is over on the left. And you know we believe that when you train, you should have create. You should be able to be creative. You shouldn't be boxed in. Okay, all I can use are machines, so I'm just going to use these machines. All I can do is cardio, so that's all I'm going to do. No, we have um, the field turf there for you to be creative. If you want to do burpees, you can do burpees. You want to jump rope, jump rope. You want to push the sled, go ahead and do that. You want to run and do cone drills, you can do that too. Um, you want to use the yoke, why not? And so it provides that level of creativity for anybody who's, who's looking to do something different because you hear it all the time in gyms. 
it's like, man, I'm bored with my routine. It's like, this is the area where you can be creative and just kind of own your own workout. So as you continue left, um, as you're walking through the gym, over to the left, we have the power chamber. And the power chamber is basically a 30 by 40 foot enclosure that has everything you need if you're a power lifter to do your three main lifts. And another thing that I think people think of is like, oh, that's just for power lifters, and it's not. Um, if you're a power lifter, you're gonna go in there, for sure. Um, but there's, you know, if you're just starting out, who doesn't bench, who doesn't squat, who doesn't deadlift? Those are some of the three of the, the main uh, movements that you can have. But it can get very specific in there as well. So we have jerk boxes, we have bumper plates, we have platforms with band attachments so you can work on partial movements. Um, we have bench press boards, we have competition benches, we even have a mastodon bar for heavy squat, it's a 60 pound squat bar. Um, so really what we're trying to do is just diversify that for anyone, all walks of life. If you're a 17 year old just trying it out, if you've been in the gym for 30 years, there's something in here for you. So hopefully that describes it. The one thing that we wanted to do um, is make sure that we have quality in the gym. We wanted to make a statement, we're a new gym, and we wanted to go with somebody that was reputable, that had a brand, that when people come in here, even if they don't know us, the one thing that we, we don't have that's a disadvantage is the branding. People don't just, you know, from all walks of life, know who we are. Um, so the best way to do that is when people walk in the door, we don't want them to leave. And I think having equipment at the level of Elite FTS, it makes a statement and it makes people see, okay, these, these guys are serious. Whoever these people are, I've, I've just met them, but they're serious, they're committed. And so if they're committed, then why not me take that step forward and maybe join the gym and be a part of it? We have so many things going on. So we, we try to be visible, and, um, but we also try to give back to our members. So right now, we focus so much on power lifters and bodybuilders as far as different things that we've offered at the gym. Now we're doing something a little bit softer um, and doing a weight loss challenge. Um, we have more women getting involved with that than we did with our bench press competition, which we called our bench press combine. So um, only men, um, competed in that. Even though the women were interested, they, I don't know, weren't, didn't want to compete with the men or they thought they were competing with the men, but no, none of our, of our women members signed up for it. So we're trying to ease them into the different things that we're offering. We right now are, um, have on our board that we're doing the Hope Walk and so we're encouraging our members to do the Hope Walk with us. It's something that me and Toby have done for several years. It's a walk with Stuart Caring Place, um, a fight against cancer, and all of their cancer patients pay nothing. So Toby and I feel like that is a great cause and, and we love supporting it and it's something that Akron does. So right now we are hoping that our members will get involved with it also and walk with us. We have pamphlets and brochures and we're online and so sign up with us and you know, fight for a good cause. So yes, we are trying to reach out to schools. Um, we're hoping that maybe we can contact them during the summer so we can get ready for the school year. Um, we did have, we have a few students here now, um, high school students, football players, who are, um, who belong to the gym. So that's, you know, that's encouraging because we want our young athletes to know about us and, and be enthusiastic about our gym. I mean, we're everywhere, so um, I don't know. We have our website, um, so www.wttpit.com. Um, we are on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter. Um, and obviously, uh, we're located 2530 Wedgwood Drive. That's Akron, Ohio, 44312. Um, so, I mean, there's multiple ways to reach out. Did I, did I leave anything else out? The phone, we have a phone number, obviously, so we're a place of business, um, <laughs> but we have a phone number. I didn't mention that. Um, so, you know, and like I said, we're, we're a 24-hour gym, and uh, I know a lot of our members love it. We have people that come in at 4 in the morning on a Saturday to work out, and people love that flexibility. So, um, 
That's what I would say. But no, I mean, we're just really excited about it. I mean, yeah. we, we love doing this. This is what we love. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really cool to know the members on a personal level. And it's not like, a, okay, they're a member, let me get more members. It's like, it's really cool to just understand the members' stories and understand what they're trying to do. And we're all different. We all have goals. We all have dreams. We all want to do things. And, uh, you know, it's good to interact with them and just kind of understand what it is they want. And anytime we can help, we're, you know, we're more than happy to just, you know, take the time and help them. So we're, we have our own personal training goals as well. And, uh, you know, that's the pretty cool part about it, just the camaraderie and just the, the atmosphere of the gym. I think it's unique um, to what you see in other gyms in the area.